Hey guys, so I want to explain something to you. When you're choosing an IV size between like 20, 18, 22, there's a lot of times people in the comments that'll be like, you can put a 16 in that, you can put an 18 in that. And although yes, you can, because anything that you put a tourniquet on, especially several of them, and you get good blood flow to it, any vein is gonna look super massive. But when you're choosing what catheter to put in, you're choosing a size that when you remove those tourniquets, that the vein is the size that it is. So I'm gonna be placing an IV in my hand, okay? And you can see this vein right here. I mean, if I don't have any tourniquets or anything on, so it looks small, right? When I'm deciding what size to put in that, I'm likely gonna go with a 22 because of given the size that it is. Because when I remove the tourniquet, my vein is going to go back to this size. So if I try to put an 18 in this, what's gonna happen is your vein's gonna like suction cup to the catheter because the catheter that you put in is too big for that vein. And yes, you can get the vein larger by giving people fluid and you know making them warm and stuff, but that's still gonna take time and that irritation's gonna start immediately because you're putting in a catheter again that's too big for the vein. So it's just really important to just remember that because you should be choosing the size catheter, of course, that's appropriate for your department. Obviously, you're gonna put in larger sizes when needed and when you have to follow a certain protocol, but in something that's not an urgent thing or you know a short-term IV or whatever, you're just gonna choose a size that makes sense, okay? So you don't have to put 18s in everybody just because you can do it. You, I mean, I think there's a level of like when you get really good, like you want to start doing that. But to be honest, like it's not necessary. So like I'm going to show you how big I'm going to get this vein. You're going to look at it and say that, yeah, you could fit an 18 in that. But when I remove the tourniquet and my vein goes back to the size, I don't want to cause phlebitis or, you know, what that is, it's in, um, inflammation of the vein like i wouldn't want that to happen just because i'm forcing a size that shouldn't go into the vein hope that was helpful okay guys i'm gonna start an iv in my hand and i'm gonna do it like this so as you can see the vein doesn't appear that big but i'm gonna use gravity so right now i have my feet elevated feet higher than my heart I'm doing some nice deep breaths and then where I want all the blood to go I'm gonna lay that closest to the ground and then you want to give it like two minutes this isn't like a super fast thing when you're using gravity you have to make sure you're allowing the time for the blood that's in your feet to go down this extremity. It's always, your blood's always gonna shift to the area that's closest to the floor. You can also lift this hand. And just some nice deep breaths. And it's actually pretty cold in here. It's a good temperature. It's not too cold. It's not too hot. And even without the tourniquet, like you're going to get the veins to start to get a little bit bigger. Now let's add, let's see what it looks like with one. That's one tourniquet. This is two. I feel like you can see how the two tourniquets makes that vein even bigger. So now that my veins are big, you see how you can say, oh, you can fit a 16 or an 18 gauge in here? Sure. But what is it going to look like once we remove these tourniquets and I'm no longer sitting in the position I'm in? So we're going to go right there. And remember.
remember, we're choosing a size that makes sense. Making sure you guys have a good angle. I also don't ever have patients go like this when I do it. You wanna, if anything, put your hands under their fingers and pull back. Notice with my thumb, I'm pulling that down to make it more straight and taut. And I'm playing around with it. I'm trying to see what's gonna give me the best angle. Okay, it's gonna be right here. One, two, three. Go in a little bit more. Boom. Now, I know I'm in. I'm gonna leave a little bit of it out, nothing too crazy. So that this doesn't slip out on me. And then I'm gonna attach my Oh God. 